Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that when you have children, they are a test for you. They are a big test. And if you don't have children, it's even a bigger test. Allah says in Surah Al-Anfal, وَاعْلَمُوا أَنَّمَا أَمْوَالُكُمْ وَأَوْلَادُكُمْ فِتْنَةٌ وَأَنَّ اللَّهَ عِنْدَهُ أَجْرٌ عَظِيمٌ A beautiful verse. Allah says you should remember that your wealth is a test. It can be a means of your entry into heaven or entry into hell. Your wealth that you have is a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah make it a means of entry into Jannah for all of us inshallah. And your children that you have can either be a means of entry for you into paradise or into hellfire. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make them a means of entry into Jannah and paradise inshallah. And then Allah ends that verse by saying, remember what is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is far greater. The reward with Allah is greater. Some of the mufassireen say that is more for those who don't have children at all. To say that when you don't have children, it is also a test. So Allah says children are a test. Having them or the lack of them, both a very big test of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So all those who don't have children, remember one thing, together with the dua that we make for you tonight, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you offspring through His mercy. Together with that we say, if He has decided not to give you, remember He has kept a bigger reward for you than He has kept for anyone who has had children on condition that you surrender to the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant that to us.